To other news tonight, the latest unemployment numbers are out, and they're just another sign that the nation is still struggling to put Americans back to work. Good evening, I'm Sean Hegarty. Laura has the night off. The nation's rate jumped to 9.2% in June, and only 18,000 jobs were created nationwide. But is that the same story right here in Toledo? Fox Toledo's Jennifer Steck joins us live with this dollars and cents report on how the glass city is faring and why some are optimistic that things are finally turning around, Jen. Well, that's right. Let's face it. Toledo has been in a slump over the past couple of years as the nation has tried to dig itself out of an economic hole. Of course, the latest unemployment numbers aren't helping, but just maybe for the first time in a long time, Toledo is the exception. 18,000 jobs were created nationwide in the month of June. That breaks down to just about 360 jobs per state. And a state that might need jobs the most, Ohio, isn't getting them. In Lucas County alone, over 20,000 people are unemployed. 10 or 20 jobs is great. 20,000 people out of work. It really doesn't have that big of an impact. But Vey, a workforce development manager at the source, says despite the nationwide unemployment rate, Toledo may actually be faring better than the rest of the country. We tend to be a little bit behind in the recovery. We, we go down with everybody and come up a couple steps behind. Um, that's just the way it's traditionally been, and it's what we're seeing now. What we're seeing is a nice steady climb. We're seeing a steady flow of jobs coming through our offices. They credits a comeback of sorts from the auto industry in Toledo, as well as other manufacturing jobs that are coming to the area. He adds the glass city is on the cusp of a big break. The businesses grow, it helps feed the community, and the community grows with it. So I think we're poised for a big change, I hope, um, sooner rather than later, but we'll see how it goes. Well, the city of Toledo's and Lucas County's unemployment numbers for June will come out next week. That's when Vey says he will be able to make a better assessment, but he is optimistic the rate will be a decrease from May. Reporting live, Jennifer Steck, Fox Toledo News.